What's up guys, this is the Film Buff Gamer Guy, and today, I just watched the PS5 reveal by the time I am filming this. So, the PS5 reveal was very favorable. It means we got a lot of new games coming out, which is good to see. And with the launch titles, we got Godfall and the new Spider-Man on PS4 sequel. I did not expect for the sequel to Spider-Man on PS4 to come out this soon. It's coming as a launch title on holiday of 2020. We have Spider-Man Miles Morales and we have Godfall. So, with the new games, new projects, we have Ghostwire Tokyo, which looks pretty cool. It's like a, a first-person infamous type game. And we have Deathloop, which is a first-person shooter made by Bethesda, which I don't trust Bethesda these days because they made Fallout 76. I like Skyrim, they used to make great games like Skyrim Fallout. Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all time. But Deathloop seems pretty promising and we got a new Resident Evil called Resident Evil Village which looks very creepy so far. And those are the games I'm looking forward to the most. And I'm also looking forward to Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't finished the game yet, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sorry. It's good that... The PS5 reveal event has a variety of games, which is a good thing. But I don't know the price of the console. I thought we might know about it by the event, but I doubt it'll be $700. Like I'm pretty sure they Sony learned from that with the PlayStation 3 back in 2006. So. What do I think of the look of the console? It looks much better than what people thought it's going to look like and better than the thumbnail of the PS5 look. Actually, I, I like the look of the PS5, my PS5 video from last year better. I wish they went with that look, but it doesn't matter. Um, the PS5 looks like a thing from Portal. I don't know what specific thing, but it looks like a thing from Portal. Uh, the best analogy is it looks like an internet router. And the console has a digital only version and the one with the disk drive. And the console will support 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray discs, which the only one I have is Scary stories to tell in the dark. I just, I just use the Blu-ray that's bundled with the movies. Since I don't have a 4K player or a 4K TV in my setup, so yeah. So many people are worried about the console overheating and being very fragile. Which the good news is Sony seemed to to fix that during the element which is a good thing which I hope I hope it doesn't break in the box or something like that and I will not be getting it the console on launch day is because I don't have a job because of the coronavirus I won't be getting a job for the next couple of months but I'll probably get it around spring and I'll start doing PS5 game reviews. At first we thought that the Xbox Series X is going to win the first battle of the 8th, the, the ninth console generation. Because the Xbox Series X doesn't have variety much and they they just shown cutscenes of their games and that's it. But with the PS5, we know what's going what the PS5 is capable of and it's going to be easy to develop games for and it might be affordable, I don't know. But I can't wait for the games to 
come out for it, because, man, I'm going to miss my PS4 over there. I'm going to miss you, old friend. I'm going to miss you. And the good news about the PS5 is it has backwards compatibility with the PS4, and they've shown a bunch of games that will be backwards compatible at launch. We got Infamous Second Son, The Last of Us Remastered, Grand Theft Auto V, and not only that, but it will make load times for these games shorter and it will be more enhanced. Which is good, because back during the PS3, when the PS3 was coming to an end, the PS4 was coming out, like, a lot of people were really disappointed that the PS4 wasn't backwards compatible with PS3 discs and games, so now the PS5 will. So if you bought games like Doom Eternal or the new adventures or any late PS4 games, then don't worry, they'll be backwards compatible. So that's my simple rant on the PS5 and what I thought about the PS5 reveal. So don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos, and have a good night.